Hi guys, welcome back. This is Srikant. Today in this video, we'll be talking about very important setting uh, in SQL Server, and which is max dope setting. So first of all, we should know that this is a one kind of option where which we can set at the instance level and which we can say set at the query level also. Why this is important to know? Basically, you know, uh, when we go for the performance tuning, that time we need to think about something called as the weight statistics so there are a lot of weights uh, type in sql server we'll talk about the uh, one by one so but most frequently we might s see uh, the few weight type and out of those weight type i'm going to explain uh, the one weight type in this video which is cx packet so first of all what is cx packet so cx packet is a one of the weight type of a sql server which occurs due to the parallel processing when query gets executed in a multiple processes so that time what happen you know sometime some thread get block so let's say let's assume i have a four thread four processor uh, so this four uh, processor will run that uh, will run the specific query right uh, what i mean to say i mean to say that one query has been distributed parallelly on a four core processor so each processor will perform their way work and they will wait to get the result from different different processes let's assume one of the processor got block so the query need to wait till that thread didn't re uh, return a result right yes so that time blocking can be happen and system need to wait and that time we can see a wait type and that wait type is called as the cx packet wait type okay so cx packet wait type is directly depend directly depend on the parallelism so what is parallelism as i said in my starting of video parallelism is something like a uh, uh, running the different queries on a different processor parallelly I mean to say, if I have one query and uh, that query is executing, if it is executing on a multiple processor, I can say it's it is executing parallelly, and that phenomena is called as the parallelism. Okay, so sometimes it's very good to run a same query on a multiple processor, but sometimes as i said uh, in case of blocking or some system behavior we might not see the good performance because of the parallelism right so okay next next thing is where i can see the max of setting i can see the max of setting at the server level just go to the server right click on it when we do right click on the properties i will see the few settings right so just click on general properties okay here in advance you will see a few th things like in the parallelism section max degree of parallelism so max degree of parallelism is zero zero means it will use all the processors of the server so then i may have a question that what is the uh, value of the processor here so i have four core processor you can see here i have four processor right so when i set to zero it means that my one query may be execute on four different core processor if i am going to specify it as a zero then i have one more flexibility that i can reduce the maximum degree of parallelism by specifying the value to one two three four or the zero i can specify that value at the instance level also i can specify that value at a query level so okay so cx packet next we'll we are talking about max stop so this is very important option to understand because because if you want have a good value for this max drop setting then you will see a lot of cx packet weights uh, if you'll run the 
SPU to our virtual processor query right to avoid that we need to first analyze what are the issues with respect to the query if we are able to understand there is only a mac uh, there is only blocking is happening or some performance issue just because of what just because of parallelism then it, then we need to think about max group option at query level we just need to specify option and we need to sp specify the value if we want to run our query on a single processor if we remove the parallelism feature of a sql server just specify the one it means that a query will be executed on a single processor if we'll specify a two it means query will be exit parallelly execute parallelly on two processor if three or if four like that it depend on your core size so sometime by specifying one by running a by removing a parallelism we get a good performance we need to think about query and how it is performing right so hope you understood the wait type called as cx packet and thanks for watching have a great day